Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Desiree and today's look is going to be my pointillism skull. We're going to start off by putting our base down. I'm using the Makeup Forever Cream Paint in White. I'm just going to take a damp beauty sponge or any type of sponge and just blend everything out. To contour, I'm going to take the NYX Cosmetics Cream Paint, and this is in yellow. And I'm just going to place this on the hollows of my face. I wasn't too sure what shape or style I was going for, so I just basically put it on the natural crevices of my face and then blended it out. We're going to go ahead and set that cream paint with the NYX Cosmetics Primary Yellow Shadow, and I'm just going to dab it all over where I have the yellow, number one to set it, number two to make it more opaque. Next, we're gonna go ahead and use the MAC Cosmetics Chroma Cake in Primary Yellow. Can you stop bringing so dark? Excuse me. Anyway, this look consists of just a dotting. So if you want a certain shape or a certain look, you can definitely map that out with a light lip liner or whatever the case. So as you can see, I just went in with the yellow and started to map out my shape for my skull. I did take off the end of a Q-tip just to see if it would give me a different size of a circle, but it didn't actually work. So I went in with the opposite side once again and I started to overlap the dots on the yellow. So right here I'm using the Makeup Forever color paint and this one is an orange. This whole look consists of dotting and it does take a little bit of time to complete, especially if you're going for a specific look, but it's pretty easy. You're just going to dot on the colors that you want. Right here, I'm going back and forth with different liquid lip liners. Be very careful with liquid lip liners because some do stain the skin. I did use a variety of colors and shades going from a wet and wild to sugar pill. I used some orange first and then a red and then I went in with a light pink. And then we're just going to go in with the rest of the colors using dark pink, purples, blues, oranges, and then yellow once again. <laughs> Next, I'm going to take the LA Splash Body Art Liner, and this one is in Love and Peace. I'm just going to fill in any little open spots that I have. Now, it was at this point that I really wanted to leave this just like this, like in these colors, but it didn't really look like a skull to me, so I decided to go in and add some black. I started by adding a little bit of water activated paint on a dry dense brush and I just placed it on the areas or the hollows of my face which would be the hollows of my skull I was totally watching a uh, judge show which is why I keep looking to the side but then I just put that on the I guess like the innermost part of what would be the hollow for the actual skull and then I took a smaller brush and I just started to create some dots. I did a very more stippling method for this. And I just expanded from the solid black and expanded outwards into the colorful dotty. So I did take the BH Cosmetics Black Light Highlighter and I just placed this on the empty spots of my face just to bring it a little bit more brightness to that area. And this is the final look without any contacts or wigs. I did pop on some contacts from Oh My Kitty For You. These are the Black Sun Hole. 
In the actual picture that I posted on Instagram, I did edit the whites of my eyes to be black just to make it a little bit more creepy, but I really love both anyway. Thank you guys as always for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. If you happen to create any of my looks, definitely tag me. Other than that, we will see you in our next video. Love you. Ciao.